Uh, the mood now has uh, been a bit died down now because it's, it was a long day and night for us yesterday. Um, right now, uh, I'm in the area of Mongkok now, which is the other kind of protest district. And everyone's kind of chilled out right now because the police have sort of taken a step back and have sent in police negotiators to try and encourage the people to leave. And in that motif, uh, what I've seen, a, a lot of people have been camped out right there. So right now the police are taking a step back and the protesters there are also just kind of playing a waiting game with them right now. How long are protesters prepared to stay, Edwin? Uh, I think everyone has their own kind of um, time limit and agenda. But it seems, uh, from what I've seen, the uh, enthusiasm has been great. Uh, the support has been great as well. So it seems um, they're in there f for as long as they can hold that, really. We're seeing pictures that you shot uh, yesterday on the screen at the moment. Beijing, it doesn't seem, is going to give in, though. Is there some kind of compromise here? I think the, um, the agreement that they gave out was their kind of compromise already. And it's something that a lot of these protesters and I will not accept because it's not universal, full universal suffrage. Um, I think right now the idea for these protests is to uh, put back uh, more favorable um, agreements back on the table and encourage the Hong Kong government to go back to the Chinese government and sort of, you know, express what we really want because there's no real kind of direct dialogue between us and the Chinese government. It's always going to be through the Hong Kong government. So that's what we're trying to encourage them to do. Beijing is promising that the candidates that they vet will be representative. Do you just simply not believe Beijing? Um, I mean, it's their word against ours, really. I mean, um, but I mean, the more important thing is the, it's the fact that the, the candidate that they will nominate is nominated by a very small fraction of people. It's 1,200 people who, by and large, are supporters of the Chinese government. So, you know, if you tell that to me, like, would you believe that? So we, we, most of us won't.